Hello and welcome to today's Tonight Live with Tush. Did you know that every year over 20,000 babies are born with sickle cell? Better yet, or worse yet, unfortunately, did you know that only 70 to 80 percent are not able to enjoy life with sickle cell? Yes, it's sadly true. Between 70 and 80 percent of those 20,000 babies perish before they can actually actualize their first birthday. Today to share with us some of these statistics, but more importantly, to encourage you if you're out there and you are a sickle cell patient or you have a relative or a close family member who is suffering from sickle cell, we have a guest who has spent the last 15 years of his life committed to sickle cell advocacy. Our dear viewer, join me in welcoming to the show Mr. Ashraf Sebandeke. Welcome to the show, sir. Yes. You well? I'm good. You know, when I say 15 years of advocacy, uh, the viewer might wonder, okay, how old are you? Let's start with who you are exactly. <laughs> uh, my name is Sebandeke Ashraf. I'm an uh, executive director for Action Against Sickle Cell Disease. I'm an award-winning uh, sickle cell advocate. I've spent uh, half of my life doing, doing the sickle cell advocacy. So I started at 14 years. Uh, in May, I'll be making 30. Wow. And uh, uh, I started in 2004. I was just in senior two. So I was 14 in Masaka Secondary School. Okay. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Don't ask me how old I am. So gonna beat them. But of course he's not alone. He is with a very interesting lady who is actually a mother to one of the sickle cell patients that have benefited from Ashraf's 15 years of sickle cell advocacy. Please, again, join me in welcoming Rachel to this platform. Welcome, Rachel. Hello. Thank you. Rachel, uh, to worry day, Rachel, yeah, I need to go to Rachel, uh, I'm a single mother. Yes, please. Of three children. Wow. My eldest is 13. Wow. I'm 30 years. Huh? <laughs> that is a lie. I'm 32 years. You look like a campus, sir. <laughs> no. With all due respect. Thank you. Thank you. I'm <laughs> flattered. I'm 32, and my youngest is making seven she'll be making seven and wow. she's living with sickle cell oh yeah we've had to fight for the seven years oh dear you know as we start off into our show today we want to understand the experience that you've had uh, in the past 15 years uh, doing uh, advocacy for sickle cell and uh, more importantly we hope to demystify all the myths that lie within uh, the sickle cell uh, patient's environment, especially the stigmatization and, and, and related issues. So to start with, t tell us a bit about sickle cells. Uh, sickle cell is a genetic disorder. It's a, it's a genetic blood disorder. So it affects the red blood cells. So the normal red blood cell is, a, is supposed to be uh, uh, shaped like uh, a donut, but without a hole. Is it that one? Yeah, uh, this one. Uh -huh. So, for someone with sickle cell, it changes the shape to a sickle shape or like a, a new moon. So, what happens? Because we, if, it, if it's a normal red blood cell, it can move freely in the blood, in the blood vessels and take oxygen uh, to every part of the body. But for someone with sickle cell, uh, this shape that changes makes it difficult for blood to flow because these red blood cells can get clogged and when they get clogged, blood, uh, blood can't move properly and the end result is pain. So that's sickle cell disease. What do you think exactly causes such a situation? Uh, it's an uninherited uh, disease. So you can get it when you when uh, you can get it by inheriting sickle cell gene from both parents. 
Not yes. not one not one or the other. Not one of them. Okay. Because each parent must contribute a gene for someone to be born with sickle cell. If one of the parent has co if it's only one parent who has contributed a gene, then the child will be a carrier. Okay. So they will be carrying the trait. So we have three kinds of the phenotypes when it comes to sickle cell. We have the normal genotype, which is represented as AA. We have uh, the carriers who are AS, and then we have the people with a normal genotype, which is AA. We, we have AA, we have AS and SS. AA, AS and, and SS. SS. Yeah. AA being the normal? Yeah, normal. You don't have the sickle cell gene in your blood. SS is when you, when are, you have that disease. And then AS, AS is when, when you are just a carrier, a carrier but you're not... You're, but you're not sick. Okay. So what happens is when you're a carrier and when, when you are normal, you all look the same from outside. So you don't show any signs. You, you live a normal life like any other person. But the problem comes when you marry another carrier and you both pass on the gene to your children. And we have uh, very many people here who don't know their genotype, who have never tested. Mm. And uh, I know I'm not, uh, I'm, not the, I'm not the host, but let me ask, have you ever screened for sickle cell? Guilty as charged? No, I've not. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone needs to screen for sickle cell. Because if you're a carrier, you will not know. And most people get to know when they give back to children with sickle cell. Mm. And they start mm. to say, ah, we don't have it in our family. Mm. Then the other one says, we don't have it, it's in your family. We don't have it. Yet they are carriers. So if someone is uh, thinking of uh, uh, getting a partner, the first thing you should think about is testing for sickle cell. For sickle cell. You need to know your genotype. You need to know your sickle cell status. Yes. So that's the first thing sh that should be on the list. Because if we are, if we, if you are both carriers, you can't save the baby. As per now, if you are to go for those other uh, advanced things, which I'm not a hundred percent sure, because you see in uh, in HIV, yes, sir, the baby can be saved. Yes because there is a um, prevention of mother-child in sickle cell, it's not there. Okay. So that's why we say that's the first thing you should go for. So it, uh, it cannot be prevented at a, at, a, at a maternal stage, but can it be prevented uh, before, before, before the two partners choose to have a baby? That's the only prevention. Because if, if So the only prevention is making sure that you don't have a baby? No, he's making sure you don't have a partner who carry the gene if you carry the gene. Oof. Because even if, even, if, even, if you, even if you have a sickle cell and you get a partner who is AA, the one we talked about, who is yes. normal, your baby will not be born with sickle cell. But they will have AS. Yeah, they yeah, will, they be, will carriers. be carriers. So it means you have saved the babies. So what we are looking at is saving the next generation. generation. Okay. And if this AS chooses to, to interact with someone, no, does the gene get completely wiped away or it is carried on? No, it will continue. It will, it will go on, but you will not have children with sickle cell. With sickle cell. Because genes, at least for one of the things that uh, we haven't had a complete solution for, is the genetics. Okay. Because you can't choose the color of your eyes. Mm. You can't choose the color of your hair. Yes, sir. Even if you go and breach and you do what, <laughs> so it, it will, the genes will still remain the same. Yes, indeed. Mm. Quick question. Uh, how did you know that you had sickle cell? Ah, uh, long story and a short story. Okay. <laughs> I'm a carrier to sickle cell disease. I'm a AS. You're AS. But I present signs and symptoms of someone who is SS. Okay. And even more 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 simp more complications which people with a sickle cell don't get okay okay so so but at first i was diagnosed with sickle cell yes please that was uh 2002 i just completed p7 so that's when i got that the first diagnosis in 2002 2002 and um how how did you feel upon finding out that you had sickle cell no, I knew it was a done deal. Okay. 
So I was going to die. Because oh. what you know, what people were saying, if you have sickle cell, then you're going to die. Can you imagine? Because it was like a death sentence. So that's what I knew. And uh, I had no hope. Uh, by that time, I just finished uh, the exam for PLE. Yes, sir. So the results were not yet back. So I was just waiting for the day. But as as uh, as time moved on, I was not dying. Okay. So I continued. You waited and you said. Yeah, he was waiting to die, and he wasn't dying. <laughs> yeah, there's was, there's was nothing. So mm. life continued. Yes. So I got to know later, even when I had because I started the uh, advocacy when I was in senior two. Okay. So I was doing it as someone who had the disease. So. I got to know that um, I'm a carrier uh, in 2011. Okay. So that time I was about to complete my degree. Mm. So that's when uh, I got to know. Okay. And things stand out because I checked for everything that is related to sickle cell. Okay. And all the results were out. Okay. Wow. Until when I moved to a doctor. Who said okay? Because he he had uh, uh, they call it uh, te textbook cases. Okay. So he had read about it that they are rare ca cases, but he had never seen one. Oh my! So when I presented, that was the first case he had seen. Oh my! So uh, life continued. So and, and and mentally, how was it for you while? Uh, you're going through this, I can imagine you expect to graduate, move on with life. You've, you've invested the past few years advocating for something you believe you don't have, but you're a carrier. The next thing you know, you're actually sick. Uh, mentally, how, how did such a, a situation treat you? Uh, one, it, uh, it depressed me. Okay. Because uh, it affected even my performance. Because I was seen and out. Sometimes you are sick, but you have to go to the hospital and then you have to go to the lab. Yes. Because I did uh, more than a hundred tests. Is it? Yeah. So you have to be to the lab, taking the samples, because you have to find out. And up to now, I'm still looking to find out why, how can a career be getting paid? So it affected me academically. Okay. But uh, it didn't stop me from advocating mm. because... Uh, it, it was not about me. So me finding out that I'm a carrier, it didn't stop me because it, it wasn't about me. So I continued. Okay. And I even, uh, I got more energized to do more. Okay. So, so that, 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 that's, uh, uh, somehow the story is complicated because yes. uh, <laughs> to tell people that I'm a carrier, sometimes they don't get it. Sometimes yes. even I go to a hospital and I say, I have sickle cell. Because okay. I don't have time to explain for that my career who ended up uh, having symptoms of a, of a patient, and mm. I can mm. imagine. And I've, I've, uh, at least I've seen a number. So people. your case is not unique. No, I'm not alone. I've seen other people. Okay. Uh, recently, last year, but one, no, last year in Jan, I was in in Tanzania at Muhimbiri Hospital. Okay. I was talking to a hematologist there, and she was managing too. Oh my! I was in uh, Mbale. There's a doctor who is managing the other two. So far in our campaigns where we are screening, uh, we have met. Uh, we have screened uh, more than ten. Okay. And you repeat that test and you repeat it over and over again. The results are the same. Whoa. Before we go into the detail of what a hundred, more than a hundred tests of screening and testing looks like, mm. let, let me talk to Rachel a bit. Rachel, uh, first of all, what is your sickle cell story before we go to, 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 to the beautiful baby girl? My sickle cell story, like, I didn't know anything about sickle cell until I had my child. Yeah, it was more like when she was born, she was a normal child. Okay. Very normal. The weight was fine, and and everything seemed okay, until she was about nine months. 
nine months, then she started showing up symptoms, the swelling of the hands and the feet. So like any other parent, you get worried and you're like, why well, the feet swelling, is, you know? Yes. So I, I went to a clinic. One of my, 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 my stepmother, is a, she's a nurse. So she was like, why don't you test for sickle cell? Because I heard probably your father was a carrier. So she, was, she wasn't so sure about it. Okay. But she recommended I take a test. So I took my daughter for a test and it was hectic because I had to wait for almost 72 hours. Waiting for the test to they be They were done. telling me, now the power is down, the power is oh low, we can't give, you know all that stress. Which area was that exactly? The, uh, which, which place? I went to Abbey Clinic, Wandegear. Oh my. That is where I did my, the first test. Okay. But uh -huh. it was kind of difficult. So they are giving all these excuses? Yes, I had uh -huh. to go back today, like come back in the morning, come back in the evening. So it took long mm -hmm. until I got the result. And my daughter was confirmed for sickle cell SS. And I would imagine as a parent you might have lost patience even in the waiting. What was your feeling like when you, it, it when is, you discovered that? It is so depressing. You look at your child and you feel for the first time this child is, is going to die. Oh you, 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 you're looking dead straight into the eyes. Oh like, my. You just don't know what is going to happen next. Because at that moment, I had no idea about sickle cell. And the only thing I knew was, they can't go beyond five years. So like you're holding your child, in the next five years, this child is not going to be here. Okay. That's so unfortunate, Rachel. And it was, it is something like, it's called the knowing that my child has sickle cell brought about so many changes in my life. Okay. Yeah, because first, my in-laws, my, 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 the father of my child, they just couldn't believe it. At first they thought, probably I'd cheated to have this child because they didn't have any, any sickle cell, issues. yes. So they were like, this child cannot, you cannot have two healthy babies and have the third child with sickle cell. So the man was like, no, that is impossible. So we had to break up because of that. Oh my. Yeah, that's how I get to being a single parent because I gave birth to a child with sickle cell. <laughs> but today, I'm, I'm, uh, at least I can talk about this Minus getting so emotional about it. Yes, I, I mean, I'm, I'm even... Uh, uh, oof. Because I, I Perhaps think... I need a minute. Because <laughs> you are sharing the story. I, and I want to say this. Thank you. Because you appear to be a powerful woman. Thank Yet you. Yet again, when I look at you, I know you've gone through a lot. Yeah, but... Yeah. I, oh. I'm going to get back to you. I just want to know how you're able to, to, to move on with life after such... such um, <laughs> A, a series of events. Mm -hmm. Speaking of uh, five years being a limit, uh, could you give us much more accurate statistics? I might have gambled with them at some point. Um, uh, there, there, there are 20,000 babies born every year with sickle cell in Uganda. And 70-80% uh, of them are said not to be able to celebrate their fifth birthday. So it means um, we lose uh, between zero to five years, we, we lose 16,000 babies. So that could call for serious alarm because yes. all these people who would have been in the workforce are lost within that period. So we lose very many. Mm. That's a very, very, very big number. Actually, it said that uh, sickle cell contribute 16.2% uh, uh, of the annual death of children below five years. Here in Uganda? Mm. Here in Uganda. If you go to the numbers of the annual death, you may find that uh, almost every after 30 minutes, maybe someone dies. Oh, my. And we are not so, because we don't have uh, the actually statistics, because yes. we have not had to go and find out uh, everywhere who has sickle cell. Because mm. some of these cases go undiagnosed. Yes. Because mm. people may say it's witchcraft. Of mm -hmm. course. Uh, sometimes they say it's only malaria. 
so they don't look at uh, the sickle cell bit. Because you go around and you ask someone, you find people who are old and they have never been diagnosed. Even uh, no one has ever been told that maybe you have sickle cell. Okay. You find someone has very many, has children and go to know that maybe has the, the complication these children had uh, as a result of sickle cell. I've uh, at least talked to one in Ngora who is okay. a mother to five. And she was only uh, alerted that maybe the symptom these children have of sickle cell when she had given birth to all of them. So she could not reverse. So that's one of the challenges. Okay. Uh, Rachel and Ashraf, uh, uh, preferably both of you could figure out how to do this. What are the symptoms of one, a baby with sickle cell, and you will answer that for me, but starting with Ashraf, what are the symptoms of a sickle cell patient? Um, the signs and symptoms of a sickle cell patient are uh, one is uh, jaundice. John? Jaundice. Okay. So that's the yellowing, yellowing of, of the, the eyes. eyes. Mm. Then you find a pale body. Okay. Uh, pain. That's the defining factor. Because if there wasn't pain, then everything would have been okay. Mm. Then the when you talk about pain, is it general body pain? Is it joint pain? Is it, it headache? Is, it, is, it is a pain that can attack any place of the body. Let's say to, the child can wake up, or a person with sickle cell can wake up with pain in the fingers. Oh let's my. say. But the pain will not stop only in the fingers. It will extend to the whole arm. Like it, the pain is just too much for these, for the warriors. It is just too much. You cannot, if it is a child who cannot speak, it is very difficult to, to, to find out why exactly is the pain. Can you imagine? Until you see, probably you see the swelling or something like that. If it is an adult, at least they can tell. Yes. Yeah, they can see whether it is the, the legs, the, you know. Right. But then there are other... Sim signs and symptoms. Yeah, the pain can be in the stomach, can mm -hmm. be in the chest. So it is, there, there are very many kinds of pains. Pain okay. can hit any other part of the body. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, away from the pain, what are some of the other signs and symptoms? Uh, we have anemia, because that's why it's we are called sickle cell anemia. So the person who uh, the, uh, loses blood. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, a delayed growth. Okay. Mm. So you find someone with sickle cell who, who hasn't gone to the to, to, at the same pace. So you find someone... You mean physically, right? Mm. Yeah, physically. Mm. So they look at you and they say, ah, you can go back to senior to and study. Mm -hmm. are, are you comfortable talking about yourself in this case? I'm comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so, sure. so they look at you and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and they, they ask you, oh, I am. Actually, I have, I have had uh, an incident. Yes, please. I had uh, finished campus. Mm -hmm. So I was... Uh, That's 2011, right? 2012. 2012, I yes. I, I finished my exam in May. Okay. 2012. Yes, please. So I was at uh, KPC, Watoto. So that's where I was being deployed okay. to do awareness. Um, so there's these people who came who asked me, Oh, but we see you are talking about sickle cell. Where did you learn all this from? I said, I've been here for some long time. So, yeah. so when, when we discussed and they got to know that I just uh, finished my exam, they said, oh, without you, I'm in senior too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, even where I work from. Yes. So students think I'm uh, maybe I'm a bachelor's student or I'm a diploma student. Oh, I keep forgetting you work at Bakay University Business School. Yeah. So I can imagine the challenge of moving among people who look older than you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Danny, is he able to stand so that... Uh, are you, that's if you're comfortable doing this. <laughs> anyway, let's leave it aside. Please go on. Please, let's go on. Mm. So, so that's one of the challenges. Okay. Then um, another uh, uh, symptom or another complication is... Um, Another complication is is uh, is, is uh, I said uh, delayed growth. Delayed growth. Delayed puberty. Okay. Mm. So that will, you 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 find someone maybe the ladies take long to start their periods. Uh, then uh, we have uh, she mentioned about the 
swelling of swelling the body of the hands and the feet and the feet then um, we have the uh, joint pains and then pain in any part of the body okay so that are some of the signs and symptoms all right so i've not mentioned about the complications okay because <laughs> it comes with complications um, and i'm going to challenge you to tell us some of those complications now before we go to that rachel mm -hmm. uh what are in your is is are, th are these similar to a baby's or there are some unique ones that that only come to a baby Unique signs and symptoms of no, there, 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 there is nothing. There, there are no unique signs. Okay. Those, those are general signs. In fact, it is it is easier to tell even before testing. Okay. When you give birth to a child, of course, I don't know how the doctors call it. How do they call it? It is called. There's something they are saying when 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 you've just given birth to a child, it keeps into that when when it is finished. Uh, the mm. yeah, yeah, I think fetal hemoglobin. hemoglobin. When fetal hemoglobin is finished in the baby's body, then that is when she starts showing the signs. Okay. Yeah. So for my child's case, it was about after nine months. Mm -hmm. She started showing signs at nine months. This is a baby you put to bed, then she wakes up with swollen hands and feet. And she's crying extremely. So you don't even know why the baby is crying until you see that the, the hands are swollen then you start wondering why the hands are swollen. Okay, but mind even mind. now as we've transitioned, now she's about seven years, of course she still gets minor swellings sometimes. In the legs when they are hurting, okay. they can swell a bit and yeah. Wow. So that's when you can, you can easily tell the pain is here okay. with the swelling. Yeah. Well, um, Ashraf, you had spoken about complications. Do you, do you care to share, share with us some of those complications? Yeah. Well, sickle cell comes with a number of complications. Mm. One of them is uh, the, the spleen can get enlarged okay. and damaged. The spleen? The spleen. Okay. In Uganda, I think it's called, uh, someone knows it, it's called Akabengo. Akabengo. Yeah. Uh, so when we are when uh, when we are young, they used to say bam bam salich kubuko, so like that. So it can get affected. Okay. Uh, then uh, you can have stroke, mm -hmm. and uh, with that you don't need to play with it. So that's why you need people to to have clinics where they go to. Yes. So for monitoring, and if they give you a review date, don't go beyond that. Mm -hmm. So they stroke. There is a uh, priapism. Priapism. Priapism is uh, it happens in in male, so it's involuntary erection. Okay. So it, it that's one of the complications. Then we have things like leg ulcers. All right. Leg ulcers. These are wounds that comes near the ankle. Okay. And uh, they take long to heal. Uh, we have things like acute chest syndrome. Mm. So the, that's a, a lot of pain in the chest. Then we have, uh, well, you can get uh, AVN, a vascular necrosis. So the bones, the top of the bones may get affected in the hip, in the shoulders, in the knees, depending on uh, where it has affected. Then we have things like retinopathy. Okay. Retinopathy is the... Uh, the retina of the eye gets affected because like what we said any place where blood reaches it it can be affected because this they there these are uh, the sickle cells, cells can, can sickle from there okay mm. so any blood that where uh, any place where blood reaches can be affected okay so those are some, some of the, the some of the, those the those though they those. are very very many okay mm -hmm. now we are going to keep sharing more about sickle cell and uh, hopefully we, when we get back from this break we will uh, try to expose this information to our luganda audience so mm -hmm. dear viewer don't go away we are taking a very short break stay tuned
coming soon on Smart 24 TV. Bakozi Burundi. Give me chair, I'm from Bonnet, I'm casting out with Molekera. Nazi Cola. Kazi ni kazi. Mahali kwenye yupo ni mahali tunakuta. Sisi ni biashara za kawaida. We are back and you're still watching tonight live with Tush. And before we wait for that break, we were still looking at the situation of sickle cells and what it means for Ashraf and the team to actually spend the past 15 years advocating, well, I want to say advocating for, but it wouldn't make sense in this case. Advocating for sickle cell? No. Advocating against sickle cell. I think, I think I'm getting it right. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, 15 years is a long time, Ashraf. And I would imagine you're not a medical student or a medical person, but in explaining sickle cell, mm. I could be convinced that you're a doctor. Yeah. How were you able to, to, to accumulate uh, this knowledge? Uh, I'm not a doctor, but when you go to the community, they say, Msao, Msao. <laughs> and I tell them I'm not Msao. <laughs> yes. So, because over that time, I've been learning. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, you know, uh, internet is a very good tool. Yes. So you learn from online. You learn from fellow patients. Uh, I've learned from, uh, you know, after my second internship, we are supposed to do two internships. Yes. Uh, one, I did it at uh, Change Initiative Limited, but then we are hosting IP Secretariat. So there I learned a lot of advocacy. Okay. So, because I did, uh, I was uh, learning from people like uh, Iron Lady. Oh. The IP Women for Peace, that's Ingrid. Okay. And the team. Yes. So they taught me a lot about advocacy and uh, being selfless. So the second one, I decided to go to a uh, Sikosa organization. Okay. That's a sickle cell association of Uganda. So I learned advocacy from there. But by then I was doing advocacy. I was using the writing and uh, reaching out to people in a small group. Oh, yes. So, so when I went there, now I was with people who had been there for years. Okay. Because they had been there for, I think, uh, a decade. So I was learning from them. Okay. So I was integrating what, what, what I had learned before with what they were doing 
So as time continues, because now I'm, I learn from uh, people from different uh, areas, we yes. collaborate with people from different countries. Uh, like recently, uh, in Feb, uh, we ran a campaign with people from Kenya, right. uh, Zambia, Nigeria, right. and Tanzania. It was shift right. Okay. Uh, we are sh shifting from the left, which is the myth, to the right, because we wanted to dis demystify uh, myth about sickle cell. That brings me to the next question. What are some of those myths about sickle cell? Um, and if you can share in Luganda too, what we have here, you know, turn out to get a chat with our community. Now, yeah, one of tonight live with Tosh, to get a new tagere. It's going to be no sickle cell. Oba endwa de no jivaita sickle cell. Again, the jitu vunu di ramu Luganda. A jet ya, usumulo chuo kujewa la. Oba bobo jina. Oba ngo ina muno gobera na ye nga muaga lwa oba nga wawaka. Kabi mkuwa nugo, waka mumu tukua tamanyi na ingwa bo mulabo o manyanti ono Haizu kubanga ina sickle cell O mujanja bo otia, o mula bidi rotia Of course, okutu nyonyola bine bintu Tuina o muami, o mgenyi wafe, amaze emiaka kumineta anwe juwe de Nga geza ko oku, oku vumbulula Mbemba? Kutaka vanila Kutaka vanila Eche chigambo Kutaka vanila Kutaka vanila Kutaka vanila Kutaka vanila Kutaka vanila denu Ate Mumiaka je kumineta anu Uinzo kumula vanoloza anti Yanziki izo kuchogi lako Uinzo kumula vanoloza anti Aine miaka kumineno Uwa kuminebili Nemu nange unu muami Ansinga kovu kulu kumuaka gumove vili Muami aine miaka asatu Munange Tula ulirize cha ino kuogila Tukome uko mluganda Siko sel chichi Then tulio ketu gende mu Mochiri ya chibuzo chamba dembo ziza Ok, siko sel uladu wa nsikila no Huku uh, wata Obutafali, obumifu, obutambuzo msai Mweba ita Red blood cells mluganda Na uh, mluzungu So obutafali muna wia mbako kutambuzo muka gotusa Kuhetu yes. oksigen Kukuguja ya guvera kutambuza mubili gona so, obutafali, obulamu, ob, ob, mwari ba devil inga donut. Aliye yu noma nyi donut wefana na nyinga teri mchituli. Yeseo. So, chite gezebe so ulo kutambula bulu unji. Kwa wako kwa ta donut, no uji sindika. Ibeja kutambula. Yeseo. Na ye, echipa hao, nitu mtu wabana yu gradu wa siko seo. Obutafali obo umiyo for red blood seo. Zichu sa shepu. Nizifana na anga, uuma nyo mwezo kwa kaboneka. Yeseo. Oba na juru. Mtuwe ya liya asazeko kusubi So e, kati Bwebuwa kuchusiza shape Obe nkula ni bufuka Siko shape Oba nga na jolo Bwebuwa tepusobula kutambula bulu unji muti Mwumumidi mm -hmm. Kwa uba nga buli bwebu tibu So chitegeza uso bulu ukwe kuata Yeseo Bwebuwa kuata msaigu Bwebuwa tepusobula kuita Oba buzivye e kubo Yeseo So bwebuwa bula deba siko seo Eee hey. Atenga wenjo kile de Ashu ya taze, taze yika Aise no muku baza de Womwana umulade wa, wa, wa sickle cell uh, Bamita Rachel Rachel ayise mubi inji Na ye Mudachi kei obufu nze nyo Haginda kuwa kubi hatu nyo nyo na muluganda Vya ayise mu Then tulio ketu kome wenu na ya shirafu Nga hatu adamu echi wazo changi mm, Kati obozala Omwana nga ina sickle cell Nze nandiba denga mbanti Omwa Bumba mus mwa garo kufumbiri gano Enyewo Abantu bandi bade beke visa. Nenyo. Mukuta ndi kanga bato kebera siri mu netu kebera nebiya ne siko cell. Nenyo. Tuande bade tumu kebera. Netu sawo lo kwe wala o kuzala alaba na raina chi. O buredo bo. Kwangu mwa na bo muzala langa ina siko cell. Aita mo bolu mi bonge nyio. O bula mbwe bonna. Ate chichi me nyago muzade o kuchira bako. Nga chichi tam. Katine chera waliwo chwa ita mluzungu stigma. Nti abazadde abamu you end up nga omwana wo omukwese botegera kwebe biba byogeredwa ku siko sere byobulimba abazadde abamu bakweka abana babwe enyo ne batayogera no sirika kati joko mu kusirika ate tugenda kufuna kumanya kubana obujanja bisinga obera yo obujanja bitosola kubimanya kubanga ogenda kubo sirise kati zina tegera ngo mwana wa miezi muenda naye nalisi nako idea yo na anti bwe naraba asha Nga mamu hosti nze kutivyem. Ashwa funga ayugira kubintuwe vyo. For the first time umurundi ogwaso kia dana uli ranga wali yo umuntu monsa ategira chempitamu. Nyo. 
ne wangu badi na lisme into banji nyo na yeye mukama yenye mtini na laba ashraf mchisera wena limwe tagira ida na na kupira umangu namba yeye sim ne mukubira ashraf yani amba o kuyiga bi ona bi mani kukula bi diro mwana wangu ida anzi mngamba anti boeba unyo mwana wasikosel o muzadwe gu msawa soka o yigo mwana o inga unique case nti yewo no muyiga kwanga byanja ulo buli omubo mukosa bubwe na ye oyigo uwo gwe nga gwe kati nze nagena njugo wange ne manyanti bwe muwa amata ga mukola bubi bwe kama omuyiga gwe nga gwe no buberanga gwe musawa asoka kubanga yabo ogena muddu abagenda kubuza byaba debit ya byaba debit ya kati kirigeza go ino kubanga go singo kutegera omwana wo go singo tegera omwana wo we were in your of course chandi jukiri duanti omwana kati gwe twogera ko aine miyaka msanvu Mm. Oina bana basatu omukula ine miaka 19. Mm. Eh, aha. Mm. So, uh olugendo lwamvu nyo. Wow. Ate tusanyise nyo kulango osobola okubera na fe no twega takate no sharing na fe bintu ebimu bino. Mm. Ashraf, uh, I had asked you what some of these myths mm. uh, regarding sickle cells are. Kindly share with us. Okay, one of the thing the myth is uh, people think uh, sickle cell is witchcraft. Mm. Dogo. Mhm. Mm Dogo omuntu baba ba amuloze sabamba manyino gende yo kubajaja bagamba omwana mtwale yo afikino omwana afatya mbanga na alwala so bamba loza doko ekitali kitufu so abamba loza waliwe mmere jolia ne wonya sikoseo mm era bagamba wa mwade ko kweno emmere bwati Alalalo za anti mizimu so bakutwale bakusabire ndamba <laughs> ah uh, you know don't rende akende wa gundi au you au you kusala za saba mm. tezivule kawo yeah, and so so abambalo za nti oina emia oina omuntu wasikosero aina kufanga muchi amuto ngamuto amuto mm naye ngo mtu asobola kubera kubaza so, uh, nze kwenna linda bya singo bukulu ah uh, kuno mwaka ajja kuba weza chenda mwena ulimba mm eh bamita haja la guda amsanga legos ochi ochi ni yenga taina shi aina abadzukulu na abadzukulu ah uh, kuba msiramu naye ali yakola hija emirundi 10 na kete maka acha ali obulunji akunyumiza Luna kulwe ya gendo kusome AUK Nga gwenao luna kulu wa soko kusoma primary Tori jukida Nga gamba na genda Nga Nigeria ya nkele F9 independence Oza mwakachi Lukumi renda nkaga yes Nga lukunyumiza ngulu wa juu Otio Nibuwe nzila yoka atini mugamba Nzi ya vaa ni ya liwa nukufe yukanda Nga gamba hee Nga uli Kituwa li tunyumia atu kupe mboza na kubulite vya yukanda Ok So Siko selo mtu asobolo kubela u. Waliye subi. Waliye subi. Asobolo sukemi ya ketanu. Mm -hmm. Na aweza satunga gwe. Oba na aweza mm -hmm. chenda mumu kaga ngoyo mwami ya lile kwa sima mbao. Na awasa na kuzala na hazala. Na hazala. Mm -hmm. Neba hazade neba hazala wala. Mm -hmm. But that brings me to a, an interesting question that I, I thought I should ask. We know that for example HIV uh it is transmitted as an std it's a sexually transmitted disease mm. uh, that's if i'm not mixing them yes the the the, the, the human immunovirus is transmitted through sexual intercourse uh, as one of the ways or the most common ways mm. uh, we know that cancer could be through different things including let us say smoking uh, and similar issues do we have a clear cause for sickle cell and chita bochiwa chita mbweba family yo newo nokola chino 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 chijatani kila kugwe how is apart from apart from genetic inheritance how does one uh, what causes sickle cell is there any other cause that we can we can understand there is no other cause of sickle cell apart from uh, genetics so even genetic, if genetic it's genetic so even if you play with that, you know where you know there is stigma and discrimination where people say, "Oh, you don't play with that one." Yes. That's sickle cell. So you get it. So it doesn't 
uh, uh, you don't get it like that. Actually, even if, uh, even if uh, they give you my blood and they remove the blood you have, you will not get sickle cell. Okay. Even if they remove my blood and give me blood of someone who is AA, I will not get cured of sickle cell. Mm. Okay. So it's known, it's a genetic. So in order for you to stop the transmission, you have to kill a whole generation? No. For a whole family generation? No, 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 that's what it appears like. No, you don't have to kill, but you, you make better choices of partners. Mumulonda Bulunji, Mugana Nemue Kebeza, Bomanyat Catlese, and the name Manyanti Amecaria. Titegas and Enda Kuzavana Vange, Mokumania, Moktegera. In Tibaba, near Mecaria, although I haven't tested my first born, nay, my second born is also a carrier. Okay, Catate Yemuala. So, Bera Mugamba, if you're choosing a partner, or no on the Ali AA. Let you get another to Kendeza co. Meaning, a Jacuzala move by carriers, never a a Tagenda Kuzala by SS. Nessenga are Funa Carrier Mune, Chuachigenda Quedam. I take at Nayaza, I let you together. Bagambe Rachel, ya in no man and a sequel cell, at another no Muzukunga in a sequel cell, and the Chisgalan Gachtambula. The only way you can stop it is making better choices. And see, Mueke Beza, Nemusala Oblunge. What you? By the way, yes, Ashura. By the way, we have a country which is on the verge of. Uh, they have. They are. They are not eliminating the sickle cell gene. Okay. But they are on the verge of eliminating sickle cell disease. Is this through research and scientific investigations or? Not research, but through awareness, like what we do. Okay. Through education, through policies. That's Bahrain. Okay. And they started long way ago. They started in 1984, with education in schools. Mm. So they came on, uh, uh, they did uh, in two, two, was it 2014 where they came up with a pre marital counseling and testing act. Okay. So before you go for test, for, for mar before you marry, you have to test it. So they are, the numbers of people born with sickle cell have gone down, even when they have better facilities, more than what we have. Okay. So it's a journey. All right. And that's where we are. We may, we might not, uh, like me, I might not be able to witness that, but at least what we are fighting for is to see that we have systems. Because I've told you, uh, Bahrain started in 1984. Okay. Up to now, they are, the numbers have gone down. Okay. So we are not eliminating the gene, but we are eliminating the disease. Okay. Because that's, the, as I told you, if you have, if you have the, if you have the gene and you're a carrier, Except in rare cases like me, which are few, mm. you will live a normal life. Okay. So like me, I'm living a normal life. And you're a carrier? Yes. Oh, wow. As we, as we wind up, I, um, I would love to, to hear from us much more, but we have only 10 minutes to go. So that brings me to some of these final questions. One, in your 15 years journey, what are some of the highlights, uh, the, the lows and highs that you've had? Uh, I will start with the high. Okay. One of the things I have at least witnessed, you know, when I was when I started using the pen and the keyboard to advocate for sickle cell, uh, one of the things I used to write about was newborn screening. Now it's available. Okay. Used to talk about uh, everyone to know their status. Now it's mostly a choice whether you get to know to test or not. Actually. Before I, before I continue, yes, uh, for anyone who would like to test, including we me, we shall be at Parliament Health Week from 26th to 29th. It will be free. Ma mark that date. Mark that date. Parliament Health Week. It's open. It's open. It's open. Okolo kuwa kuruwa kubili, paka kuruwa kutano. Chabwelele? Chabwelele. Waliku parliament. Waliku parliament. So, okuwa kuruwa kuna, mwiki ye mpaka kuruwa mkaga. Elatu jakuwa kuruwa, African Bible University. Yes, sir. Habari ya round yao, nebo bato zenu, ilo sobolo genda. Yes, sir. Nga msambu, tuja kuwa hechisugu, msambu April. Yes, sir. Kuna bato sobode kujeyo, kuruna kuruwa ura kaba kazi bath deran. Yes. Nira muru vili wajakuwa wakibira. So, so kati echechimu kubienda bienti 
chetuali chetuani dile ni nyonto mto sabolo kebera kuzi mm. mukso katwa gama gavantu kebera kebera ni inga kuzi tulaga mm. ech echo kubiri nda vienga luli chetuali chetwa galumu chetwa fne wa gendo kujianjaliwa okay okay kati at least the teso region tu genda tu tika paiinga tu ina mm. clinic serere tu ina clinic engora tu ina clinic katakui tu ina tu ina clinic palisa e eh, cha olympia so no anti government is on board so a support dog wa kati mu police ya mu communication ya ya government ya minister of health buli dua lile lile ku level ya hospital ino kuba ni school clinic so mu taina kutambula de tugamant free government services ne mu taina kutambula ate ku spending ya mitwalo 10 yogendo kuno na free services so so etirala Ichilalache nyuzo kwa gera kundi, nti at least ya milimo jengkola, wali wabagambi nti ya. O inacho oga seko. So, yunga mm. mba, mm. awa dizizo. Mm. Isoka, parliament ya tuwa nga organization action, action again in sickle cell. I see. Umako gwede ya tuwa parliament health and week award. Wow. Uh, uh, bili kumi na mkaga. Never empire one organization in the US, a jet has cost a one or one name per international school advocate over there. A young Jukila by then and a tank of following up Facebook. Mm. Yeah, then Macay University Business School, where no one I own one to I natural chocolate day, a guango mark of wood day, a gavachibaita most outstanding achievement award. So now you need a bang and you go and eat a wow, my jimper. Um. If you use the code, you can use the Then the law, uh, it's so good to finger the Tunabakuba na one umbrella body. It's been a chibagata. We must have a government when we are advocating the super cell. So to Charlie, we are much Charlie Jarry. The two affecting a Kuba that is coordinated. Yes, so, Echilala, Chenda be a singer, Kukuvant, and to Bachafa. Chocolate in Fibitua, and to Mania Boluganda, a baby Kuanu, a band to a very crossy. Kuba, West and Aunt will walk in the quad vocating and governor Sanga Echol, Mufokanga family. Yes, so. Over to you know, I'm going to go far. You go down because I've a full see one Uganda. So, it's a muku coming to have a so much. Is a so much that they never want to have a moon because the news of Kugamba about to have a more value much in to Chinonga Bo, Tebatidi Muruaku Yamba Bantu, Mabatidi Mu. And he was going to kidnap you? Yeah. Nali in Zija went, then in Yusef Murimuzi at meeting. Tonda in Nati Yampa Nangamba, Nimukuya Mugamba, Kumurimu and Mrs. Okuvai, Nanga Nadu read in the motor bandage. Yes, sir. So Katine to Timu will be so moza. Well, uh, this is. Um... I think I'm I'm getting emotional, but but I I am trying to stay objective because of you, dear viewer. Uh, Rachel, what have been your highs and lows? My highs, I can say, Ashraf ngawa gambi enti. At least ku advocacy ya kose ne awareness. At least kato solo gamanti abantu watanda sokuva yo abazadde. Because they are seeking treatment, kuba na ba ba neba tabala gajari, neba tagamanti, omwa na kas chikoli mo, neba mule kau. Ah, at least ba vude ya ba zaidi ba wele daba na ba ba despite inti ba na siko sel, they still ba ba wele da. Kare zempuli langa chi, chi mpuli zabulunge, it is unhighlight for me. Wow. Yeah, and 
I'm so grateful by the way kubanga na sinkana Asha kubanga yes. binji when we talk babongo yogira no muntu eh Asha fiye muntu asolo ku yisa olo nako nakubira kakasim nambuza za reality ya ouli lantu waliwo ali nawe eh Asha fu Asha fu amula bila zari ya ine miyake meka namula zari ya linga 2 years that was 2012 okay mm-hmm. yeah. gina mas when ala bila Asha and Asha fiye muntu go solo kubira ngo mana ya radesa manana na responding ngatabuziza teteka te kanyi zanti obacha no munyonyola nakugamba katikola boti omtande kama za gocha awo munyizeko kwigamba omuntu asoyo kutegera cho itam yes enyo mm-hmm. that is an highlight by the way mm-hmm. twebaza ne kabake ya why you run ti nitsensei abantu nebabira sensitize okumanya nti siko sel si the sentence si omuntu go ino kwe walanti we namsembera Laws, we are one civil and the NTV chart to Nigamo Masomero. Awareness in turn on you. Our by a stigma and a young gabbo. Catibogan no minion to one anger and a sicko sail. Here, but time to come out lay a la mobala, or you know, a young gam gun of Zanya Nebane, or Lucy Bogesa Cocoon, you know, Babanga, but a bit Can you keep on? Ogena yuno bagamba katita so la kola vigorous exercise ezi mumuleka tulenye boto ya belenga nyo amazi geno dehydrate olusi babira banga obibaka kakako mm. tokate go yagala mwana wa kulen noma banza okugamba mwana omwono na ha kati bo bagamba timumu kuba timuko la chita genda kuja ko sweat enkuba ya tonya ino keeping a warm kobabelanga bagamba antu mwana ali special nye nga te bali nnomo bali no kulivinga nnomo lives na bonga abana abalala bonna bagene masomero gega mu naga abana baloza anti bali nnomo bali the wate ekintu kimu kibatemanya abana bali na super cell babera very bright and intelligent wow extremely because is a mwala wanga solo kumalo mwezi mlabanga tasomi ne tadda koma bega wow a keep a catching up mango meaning nti singa na abasomesa Simanyo batu ba asha for ba jita chi simanyo policy. Yes yes. Ne ba jite kako kumasomero ne ba bera ngana ba sumisa ba ba wudira. Toko se tuge na kuzima masomero gafi. Tiaba na ba sko se oje ba joko somera. That is more of discrimination. It is discrimination. Yes. Actually, I would imagine it causes more stigma. Ha. Kati kugamba me have had to go through so many things na ba sumisa kusomero. Ba 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 chu sabapia you go back. Every other time, when you know, no, no, so many people are coming here, people are busy. Yeah. Uh, like, in fact, one time, one woman so many, she was sick like herself. I know her in a circus. The younger she is, she was hiding it. Tired girl, which one? Where are you talking about? 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 Because of the stigma. What you? So me, when I went to school that time, I get my mother to come and bring me a zimbi of girl. So I was telling them, but I get my mother You can talk now together. Not because Robert and I was supposed to say that I take it. So, look, we are not to get a minus in a term of movie. So, then get a cook while you know that was sick. Then she opened up. Nina, you get a number of charms. So grateful, you get the corn and get a teacher. You think I hear you get a meaning. We are saying among our teaching. We're going to move over. Tiba mania pain. You want a jukeka. Tire girl up opening up. Nay, awareness. I shall have jar cozy for the 15 years. And I'm grateful. Wow. Wow. I'm very grateful. Singa si ali ashraf nange ndo zaba nandi ba deba na wasa daba sula abana. Nyenyabo. But yangu mya na manya nto mwana asolo kula. Wow. Mm. Wow. Uh, unfortunately we've run out of time. Uh, quickly, what are some of the challenges you have faced briefly and then uh, later on we can look at some policy recommendations. Um, one of the challenges there is uh, we have limited resources. Okay. Because in most cases you find that you have to use your own money to move to the next level. Yes, sir. Mm. So, secondly, they are, uh, in certain things we are left out. Uh, because people don't see this as a priority. Mm. Despite the fact that uh, it affects very many people. Yes. Because you would uh, have thought that uh, uh, hospitals, where the prevalence is high, they could be having a, a sickle cell clinic mm. because it would save them more right. than not having a clinic. Right. So, and uh, to have uh, equipment required because, uh, you, and uh, drugs, because you need to have these drugs. And right. uh, mostly they are missing drugs. 
Right. Because we haven't gone to the most advanced drug like uh, drugs that are to be available. Those are not what you are advocating uh, to have in every clinic, right. in every hospital, in, in uh, every facility. Right. We want at least to start with the basic, the basic. basic drugs. The folic. Mm -hmm. But you go, you go to a hospital oh, oh. and they prioritize martinet, so they would take away all the antimalarial for martinet and they don't look at uh, mm. the, the patient, the sickle cell mm. patient. Yeah, and it comes back to you because people call you, we don't have drugs here. So, it's so quite a serious challenge. Mm. Mm. You had mentioned something to do with the, yes, Rachel? Mm. No, I was, I, was, I was talking about the basic drugs. Yes. The man mm. the take you. a folic, which is daily. Yeah. And folic, cover cut in your cheap. Like, grand Ne painkillers. Eh? Diclofena, brufen, panadonga, jezidi. basic in you. Yes. Mm. Ne te Kati asho fya badaga matati na ending up ngaba kubi deye duwalilo. Mm. Tuwa genze yo mwate la yo kini kine tugenda ya tete wali yo dagara. So chiba chimo, it is, becomes personal. Chima la mwa man, yes. Yeah, then another thing. Yes, Asha. The complete Ashraf. is the parents. Okay. Because you know there are some parents who treat their children as fragile. Mm. And if you treat that child as fragile, they will not uh, live a normal life. Mm. Okay. And another thing. Uh, because this, when the, when these parents send their children to schools, and uh, these children are not uh, to, are not treated well, they refuse to go to explain to the teachers. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you go to the community and they tell you, you need to help us and go and to speak to that to the teachers. Yeah, I ask you, have you gone there? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not the mother, I'm not the father. Yes. First go there and they fail. Mm -hmm. do what 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 they are supposed to do so that's a challenge right because a parent must be the first advocate mm -hmm. okay for the child yes and then uh, we still have a lot of stigma okay okay people are st still don't want to speak people still feel sickle cell is a curse to them mm. so they still isolate themselves so it's a major, it's a Well, that's very unfortunate. Uh, f f f uh, you had mentioned earlier on that uh, th there is a tendency of government policy not being implemented as as per uh, as per advertised. No uh, example here yeah, referrals in every uh, is it referrals in every hospital or something like yeah, that? Every sickle cell clinic, hospital. every hospital having a sickle cell uh, unit treatment unit. Clinic, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so because uh, as per the ministry, every hospital is supposed to be having a sickle cell clinic. Yes, At please. least most in those ones which have high prevalence. But you go, you go to these hospitals and they don't have. Which are, uh, and they don't, because now they don't implement. Right. The ministry is directive. Right. Which we, which we need. Okay. Well, uh, unfortunately, I really, really, really enjoyed this conversation. It's uh, only a minute to the end of my show, but uh, quick one. What recommendations do you have, especially for policymakers? If you're watching, please. Chino chitukukuta kuonga ba na Uganda, okufira avana, emituwalo, omutuwalo gumuka kaga, bulimuaka, sichi intuchono nyo. Actually, basu kana mu. Ngashia fuwa gambia research o yu Gwa yu gedeko Ayinzo kubanga Abula mchi nini nyora kubanga Tepana tu kilida omuna Uganda Aliyeyo wansi wembanga na kutebulo onji So what policy recommendations Do you have? Before I recommend I would like Every leader To go to The health facilities and Find out which are The uh, most patients that come because mm -hmm. that's when we shall have the recommendation because these people don't know the sick people in their areas. Right. Mm -hmm. So we want uh, policies. One, we want uh, a pre malto counseling and genetic testing before marriage. So we need at least an act or a policy. Okay. That would be the perfect because what we are looking at is saving the next generation. Wow, wow.
that would be perfect. Amazing. Interesting. Richard, do you have any uh, recommendation that, uh, that you would like to make, whether to the people watching or policymakers out there? Of course, the policymakers, they should look at the healthy act as regards to sickle cell and, and, and schools. Yes. Just like they are saying, the, 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 those with HIV and uh, just like they are doing it with other, like cancer and HIV, mm. they should do the same with sickle cell. Yes. They should give it priority. Yes, priority. Equal priority, just like HIV, because the deaths are so many. The, yes. the numbers are alarming. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we must come to the end of this show, unfortunately. Uh, but again, we do appreciate your time and commitment as uh, a viewer. Uh, for final remarks. Final remarks. Final remarks. Ladies first, Rachel. <laughs> final remarks, I should say, if you're a mother out there and you have a child with sickle cell, that is not the end of it. Okay. It is only the beginning. Okay. And strength is your best ally. You just wow. have to be strong wow. for your child. Wow. That's all I can say. You are my version of an iron lady. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're doing a great job and your strength alone is empowering to not only me, but to so many people who are watching. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Rachel. You're welcome. Um, if I remark, I'll state the words of Strive Masiwa, what he has said today in the mm. town hall meeting. Yes. He said that the energy and motivation starts within mm. so if you are there and you want to start maybe advocacy start now wow if you want if you are if you are not yet married go for the sickle cell test today mm. don't wait for tomorrow tomorrow may not come come tomorrow wow. is not a short interesting <laughs> Interesting. Uh, kindly share your contacts. I know there are some people who may want to be directly in touch with you. Share the one that you're free to share. Okay. Yeah, you can contact me on uh, zero seven seven nine two ten nine six zero or zero seven zero one zero four two two thirty nine. You can also get me on. Uh, Facebook, I use my full name, Sevandi Kashla. Mm. On uh, Twitter, uh, my handle is Uganda, Uganda Warrior, and Instagram is Sevandi K. All right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Rachel? Chemanyuwa liyo ba mama banja, bandi kado kumanye nsonga za zari wazi kwa asa ganyiza. Tuweleze kunamba yungu. Muso ulo kumfuna ku zero msamfu munana bili, asatu mu munana, anamunya msamfu mu bili, owa zero msamfu tano mkaga, Zero Mukaga, Zilemu, Emukuminatano. Bobu Debona, or Mutasolo Concovida. When it is about the cell, also no queen Mukiram means Java Tadiwalani. Wow, wow. Such a powerful commitment coming in from these two young. Did I just call you young? God have yeah. mercy on me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm younger than both of you, and, 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 and Ashraf is a child. I, I, I took <laughs> Ashraf. <laughs> <laughs> Ashraf, I can imagine how you feel. You know, growing up, I was always stigmatized about my age because physically, I don't think I've always looked young. Mm -hmm. uh, I would sit among people who have gray hair with Kutesa. Then they say, How old are you, Posey? I get a friend. I'm like, <laughs> But uh, I can imagine how you feel. Uh, dear viewer, we have an opportunity to make the world a better place. Some of these things can be eliminated if the right movement and systems are put up. Like Ashraf has said, there is a country that is already turning towards elimination of the sickle cell gene. Uganda can be that country. It may take one year, two years, 20, or even 50. It all depends upon you. Like they said, go and do your testing and screening right away. Take it as urgently as HIV AIDS. Mm. To just sit and to feel what I want to attach to it again, sir. And now, some of us are very musang, are very mukaga. To get up there, we have to be Smart Twenty Four TV, we get up there, we are going to be there. 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 We are 
African Bible University Lubowa. 28th to 30th African Bible University Waliye Lubowa. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 7th April Chisugu. 7th April Chisugu. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, that's where we are. 7th April is the Kabaka's oh, run. And I know uh, the... Lubili, mm -hmm. they will be screening also. And that money from the Kabaka's run will be used to... Uh, is it is it the same as it was last year? Yeah, it is still Skosel Cause. Oh, wow. Amazing. Sebo, I serve a Sajja to see me minimum to see me that dollar. Sajja will get a VNG. Now to see me. Away from that, Smart 24 TV is amazing and we exist to give you the most relevant and important information for you. Tomorrow we have a very interesting lady who has traveled all the way from North America. Yes, that is Miss Uganda, North America. She is going to be here sharing with us. But away from that, Smart 24 TV has just concluded the Africa Now Summit, which was at Munyonyo. Uh, speak Resort Munyonyo. I, I keep confusing the names. Yes. Commonwealth Resort. Exactly. Uh -huh. Now, the Commonwealth Resort Munyonyo. We've covered a number of things. Uh, President Yoweri Kabutama Seveni made some interesting deliverables. We had uh, uh, the President of Somalia, the Vice President of Tanzania, the Vice President of Kenya. Dr. Ruto was also there. We had the vice president of the MTN group, one Robert Shatta. That's if I'm getting the, the name right. I could make a mistake. Please bear with me. And we had a number of interesting dignitaries. Mr. Nabil, uh, my brother from uh, the United Arab Emirates, Nabil Senyonga, Nabil uh, Senyonga and Advocates, who runs a leadership institute in the United Arab Emirates. Thank you so much. We are going to be bringing you this and more. Tomorrow morning we have Smart Rise and some of these issues are going to be analyzed. So Smart 24 TV has a lot for you. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching tonight live with Tush. Coming soon on Smart 24 TV.